Hey everyone, welcome to Immunology Single Question Mode. So here's the first question. A person suffering from allergy has been advised to take antihistamine drugs. Which one of the following biological processes is most likely to be the reason for the allergy? The answer is mast cell degranulation. It is a cellular process that releases antimicrobial, cytotoxic or other molecules from secretory vesicles called granules found inside mast cells. The mast cells are very similar to basophil granulocytes, which are white blood cells found in blood. Both are granulated and they contain histamine and heparin, although heparin is found less in basophil. Their nuclei differ in that the basophil nucleus is lobated while the mast cell nucleus is round. So several different cells involved in the immune system, including granulocytes like neutrophils, basophils, and eosinophils too, are capable of undergoing degranulation just like mast cells. So how and why? Let's look. In an allergic reaction, this degranulation process occurs when the antibody IgE which is present on the mast cell surface bind to proteins that cause allergies called allergens. This triggering is called activation and the release of these mediators from inside these cells is called degranulation. So in the respiratory tract, mast cell degranulation inc increases vascular permeability and local edema which can obstruct the nasal airways and lead to congestion. There is increased prediction of mucus and its accumulation that can block off the sinuses and result in bacterial infection. So let's look and adjust how this degranulation occurs in mast cells. So here what you see is a mast cell and this is an FC epsilon RI receptor, which is a high affinity IgE receptor. So this IgE antibody binds to the FC epsilon R1 receptor. So the allogens bind onto these antibody present on the surface of this mast cell, which in turn undergoes certain, certain steps leading to degranulation. And during degranulation, the mediators, for example, here we can see histamine, tryptase, proteases, cytokines, and endothelin, etc. All these mediators are released in the respiratory tract here, and it leads to inflammation. The picture you are seeing here is based on a study which showed that SARS-CoV-2 may be able to activate mast cells in the respiratory system through toll-like receptors or by inducing the cross-linking of the IgE FC epsilon RI receptor bonding. So it releases the uh, mediators leading to the inflammation in lungs causing the reaction. The study was conducted by the Oxford COVID-19 Evidence Service team and this has been the picture released. So thank you and have a nice day.